What is up y'all? My name is Melissa and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be all about e.l.f. cosmetics. I bought a lot of e.l.f. products. I even bought their latest new palette which I was really excited to try. And so a lot of these are going to be products that I have but also a lot of products are new products. I wanted to do a full face of makeup. I feel in the mood. I'm ready to do some makeup and I just want to have some fun. So if you guys are interested in seeing, you know, my thoughts on some of these e.l.f. products, then please keep watching. Okay, so I didn't buy any new primer, but the e.l.f. primer that I truthfully just love hands down is this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I just like to stick it right here, and I feel like it helps fill in my pores, so that way the makeup goes on a lot more smoother and easier. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. Now, I have talked about this foundation probably like numerous times. I think this foundation is amazing and I talk all about it in my favorite foundations. Let me show you how much I use this. Like, it is empty. This, I don't even think I have anything in here. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's empty. But I have no other I hope this is enough foundation. Oh, this would be so sad if it's not. Now, I did not know I did this, but I bought two. <laughs> and luckily I bought the same color, which goes to show something. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why do they look different colors? Y'all, I swear, these are two different colors to me. Am I the only one that's like going crazy? Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see it. But they both say medium beige. <gasps> what? So this is Elf's newer formula. This one's a more hydrating satin finish. Um, I have used their original camo concealer, which is empty. Because I love that one so much, I did want to try their new one. This one's too dark. There you go. They are literally two different colors. I mean, no matter what, it's still a really, really good concealer. I'm just a little bit confused as to what happened. This is a product that I've had for a really long time and I do enjoy it. This is the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. And this is just going to have to do to set my makeup because <laughs> I didn't buy a loose powder. For, so I have a few options for some bronzer. Um, I have these two right here. I don't remember what this one is called, but it's their Forever Kiss bronzer and it's just a bronzer. And then I have this one. This is their two-in-one mini little compact it's in Fiji. So it's really cute, nice size mirror. So you can't go wrong with either. So I'll just use both for the sake of this video. Now I'm going to use the blush. I think this is the only blush I have from them. But this one is perfect. Like, do y'all see that? Perfect. So for eyebrow products, I do have two from e.l.f. I go into a lot more detail in my top five favorite drugstore products. Um, these are both amazing. I love both of them. So just for the sake of the video, I will also do both just so you can kind of see. I won't really talk through it because eyebrows can take a really long time, but just to show you both of them. So 
for highlighter, I have two options. Um, I have this e.l.f. jelly highlighter. Um, it's the only jelly highlighter that I own. I just don't think I, I'm a fan of jelly highlighters. Honestly, the only time I use this is for like my nose and my inner corner around them. It, it's really good. It's just I don't reach for it as much because I, it's not the vibe and I think they're a little bit harder to mess with. Um, so, I did buy this new one. This is the Metallic Flare Highlighter. This is in 24 karat gold. And I've been dying to use this one. It feels gritty and it kind of looks gritty. I don't know if that makes any sense. But it's so subtle that you can't really tell unless you're like zoomed in on my face. And it's more of an icy look, but not like a wet icy look. And I really love like that wet, melted into your skin kind of look. And this one I feel like kind of sits on top. I don't hate it, but I don't, I wouldn't say I like love it, but it's not bad. All right, and now for the fun part, the eyes. So originally when I was going to do this video, I was going to do a video talking all about the e.l.f. bite size eyeshadows. I honestly love them. This is a new one that I was going to test out in this video. These are the ones that I've owned already that I just love. Um, but because it is summer, I saw this guy and wanted to play with this palette so bad. Um, but just for an honorable mention, these are three bucks each. These two work amazing, so I'm pretty sure they're all like that. Um, and I don't have a lot of experience with e.l.f. eyeshadows, so this was a great way to like get myself in there. I've heard mixed reviews about e.l.f.'s like bigger eyeshadow palettes. Some say like they're really good, some say that some shades are like hit and miss, so I guess we'll see. But I think this color palette is beautiful. Like you have your everyday right here and then you have your pops of colors all right here. I swatch these. I hate doing swatches y'all. Now I'm going to dip in to Fuego which is a very light pink. This is going to be my transition into that color palette. Now I'm gonna take Tropicana and I'm gonna focus this on the outer. So I am having fallout, I should have knew better. I'm going to place some powder down and I'll be right back. I'm gonna dip into Baja Mar and I'm gonna put this on the other half. So if you are um, a deeper shade like me or even deeper, you might have a little bit um, work ahead of you because you definitely have to pack these shades. I'm going to dip into Sip Sip first and woo! Definitely use setting spray y'all you will have a hunky chunky like mess I'm only putting it like in one little area then I'm going to dip into disco disco because I kind of want the two colors to correspond with the shade I used above ahead and kind of almost finished this eye off camera because my camera <laughs> needed a little um, break. I was overheating a lot and it was killing the battery. So here it is. Then I kind of got a little bit carried away and I accidentally started working on this eye. But all I did was I took sea salt and I put that in the inner corner and that is all that you have missed. <laughs> so to finish off this look, I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. liquid liner. Now this is a um, kind of like a paintbrush in a way 
and this is like your little paint and you dip into there so I know this isn't everyone's cup of tea um, but they are harder to control um, but I've been using this for a really long time and I love it it's super super black it just it takes time and practice so to each their own you might hate this you might love it but I personally like it and I have no problem using liquid liners like this finish off this look I'm gonna dip into the shade royal which is a very deep royal blue and I'm going to pick up just a little bit because when messing with this eye I realize it's super pigmented and I'm just going to deepen up this edge bit then with the same brush I'm gonna take Tropicana and I'm going to just help blend the two shades together. And then for mascara, I'm gonna be taking the e.l.f. Um, Lash Extending Mascara. So I've also had this mascara for a while. I don't really think it extends, but it does help coat the lashes nicely. Pick up some lashes from e.l.f. Um, I don't know if I've ever used their lashes, but I've heard some good stuff about them. So this is how they look. They're called Winged and Bold. They're really pretty, and they do come with some, um, I don't know what you call these, like lash tweezers, but they're very cheap. I don't think I would use these. I'm not gonna use these. So I'm gonna do my lashes off camera, and I will be so the lashes are on and these are how they look. They're really, really pretty. Again, very subtle, very natural. Um, one thing that I did notice is that I didn't have to cut them. So maybe if your eyes are a little bit longer or bigger or wider, you might have some trouble with that, but I didn't have to cut them at all. Like this is the full length of them and this is how they look and I think it's still really cute. I think I want to put shadow in my lower lash line. I think I'm going to just take this shade like a sandy bum and I'm going to like give it some dimension but I don't really want any shadow under there. I'm going to try something new. I don't know why I bought this but I saw it and I was like I want to try it. So this is Elf's Lip Primer in Lumber. And let's do it. So I'm gonna put the primer on. So I'm gonna take the lipstick dew. I think this one will match the best. And this is called Needed Nudes. And I'm gonna use the day side. All right, you guys. So we've made it to the ending of the video. And this is how my makeup turns out it's really cute simple it's kind of colorful but it's not too much and I think me wearing this jacket kind of helps even that all out overall I think elf sells some amazing products they're very very affordable they're convenient you can find them almost everywhere in almost any drugstore so there's always that plus side to it and they really do make some quality products and they have been coming out with a lot of quality products okay. If you've made it to the ending of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to. I always leave my Instagram handle down below. And yeah, I am all done. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.